Australia has backed the O'Neill government's support for global commitment to free up trade. Australian High Commissioner to PNG Bruce Davies revealed this during the recent leadership summit in Port Moresby. The Australian High Commissioner said open markets through lower tariffs and fewer restrictions on investments support competition, productivity and international engagement, thus promoting broad-based economic growth. Trade liberalisation is especially important for small and medium-sized businesses who need less red tape to be able to trade freely and to take advantage of the diverse range of opportunities available in the Asia-Pacific region. And these opportunities are enormous. Mr Davies spoke highly of two-way trade between PNG and Australia in 2016, which amounts to 14 billion kina. 64% of that are exports from PNG to Australia. Australia imported almost 100 million kina worth of coffee from your growers last year, a 30% increase on the year before. And there is a market in Australia for cocoa and other agricultural products from Papua New Guinea too. In fact, one iconic Australian company, Hague's Chocolate, already sources a significant percentage of its cocoa from Papua New Guinea due to its very special and unique flavour. Mr Davies said according to IMF, global growth in 2017 will be driven largely by the Asian region. As a result, Asia's middle class is expected to grow from 500 million to 3 billion by the year 2030, prompting exponential growth and PNG in Australia stands ready to benefit from this. Meantime, the Australian High Commissioner reiterates that Australia's assistance to PNG is no longer defined by the donor recipient model of the past, adding this concept is outdated. We have worked closely with the Government of Papua New Guinea to reshape the nature of our development cooperation, to focus on areas that complement and support our broader economic and strategic partnership and that add value. We have shifted our focus away from basic service delivery, which is rightly a core and sovereign responsibility of the Papua New Guinea Government. Our role must be to add value, not to substitute for provision of services. Is that Australia will continue to support its programs in PNG that promotes a healthy population for economic growth? Glenda Popot, TV1 News.